everybody. I'm here with little Miss Sophie. And we have three more stories left out of the fall storybook collection for little critters. And she has decided she wants them to be read. So, I hope you guys are enjoying these. We are on Snowball Soup. I am Little Critter. This is Little Sister. She is my little sister. That is Dog. He is our dog. Wow, look at all the snow. Dog likes snow. Little Sister likes snow too. I like snow too. Be kind to of books, everyone. We play in the snow. I dig in the snow. Little, little sister rolls in the snow. I'm actually gonna mark that page. And then what you do is you take it to the librarian and you tell them there was a tear in the book. And they can fix it. Okay. We make a snowman. We roll some big snowballs. One, two, three. Oh, look, my dog's joined us. Hi, Missy. <laughs> one snowball on the bottom. Next one goes on top. This one goes on the very top. Ta-da! Little sister puts on the hat. I put on the nose. Tog puts on the arms. Then we put on the eyes. Hello, snowman. Time for lunch, snowman. What does a snowman eat? Snowball soup. We make a pot of snowball soup. We give the snowman a spoon. Eat all your snow a soup, snowman. We go inside. We eat soup for lunch, too. Yum, yum. Thank you, Mom. We go outside. Oh no, dog is eating snowball soup. Silly dog, snowball soup is not for dogs. That was for the snowman. Don't worry, snowman. Time to make more snowball soup. Yum, yum. The end. The next one is the lost dinosaur bone. We like dinosaurs. Our class went on a field trip to the Museum of the Natural History. I couldn't wait to see all the dinosaurs. When I grow up, I'm going to be a dinosaur hunter. But when we got to the museum, the dinosaur exhibit was closed. So we had to see the butterflies instead. The butterflies were fun, but I really wished I could see the dinosaurs. Next, we went to the rainforest. There were lots of trees and monkeys in them. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's what it said, said the monkeys. A guard came running over to see the monkeys too. So I asked him about the dinosaurs. I found out that the exhibit was closed because the Triceratops bone was missing. Blah. I can't talk tonight. And the hollow gems and minerals, minerals. There's a very large. It was very dark. We had to wear miner hats with lights on them. Tiger went looking for diamonds. I was busy looking for the menis missing dinosaur bone. No luck. After that, we went to the planetarium where they were where on the ceiling turned into the sky filled with stars. We found out that the planet Mars is covered with dust and the planet Saturn's rings has rings around it. I kept an eye out for the dinosaur bone. But I didn't see it.
On our way to the meteorite, I asked Miss Kitty if I could get a drink of water. Well, I found the fountain. I also found something else. The dinosaur exhibit. It had a big sign saying, Exhibit closed. We're so sorry. We're very sorry. I went closer and saw the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was heading right for me. I ran away as fast as I could and found myself face to face with the Velociraptor. It had its mouth wide open. I could see all its sharp, pointy teeth. The guard told me the exhibit was closed because of the missing dinosaur bone. I know, I said. I've been looking for it everywhere. On my way out, I took a wrong turn, and there I saw something long white sticking out from underneath the Anacolosaurus skeleton. It was the missing dinosaur bone. I ran back to tell the guard. He didn't believe me at first, but when I showed him the bone to him, he gave me a big smile. Then I told Miss Kitty the guard took our whole class to the special place where the scientists who have studied dinosaur bones work. Thank you for solving the, solving the mystery of the missing triceratops bone, the scientist told me. Boy, they were happy to have that bone back, and so was the triceratops, the dinosaur the bone belonged to. The scientists took us on a tour of the dinosaur exhibit. They showed us the Stragatosaurus skeleton they had found buried in the mountain. I'm going to the dinosaur hunter. I'm going to be a dinosaur hunter when I grow up, I said. You already are, answered the scientist. And it was Stegosaurus. Like, like I said, I can't talk right. You know what I'm going to do tomorrow? Dig for dinosaur bones in my backyard. The end. I'm going to read the last one. Oh, let's go ahead and just read it. The Critters Who Care. I play ball at, Tigger, at Tiger's house. I hit the ball very hard. The ball flies next door. Uh-oh, the ball is in the spooky yard. Maybe a monster lives there. I am brave. I will get the ball. I run. I trip. I fall. A little old bunny hands me our ball. Thank you, I say. Tiger, there's no monster there, I say. I ask my dad why it looks so spooky at the old bunny's house. Mrs. Bunny is not feeling well. She has no one to help her, Dad says. We can help Miss Bunny. We are critters who care, I say. I call my friends. What a great idea. We will help too, they say. I make a picture for t-shirts. Little sister helps. Dad gets them made. We meet at my house. Everyone wears a t-shirt. Parents come too. We all walk to Miss Bunny's house. Knock, I knock on the door. Miss Bunny says, Hello, we are critters who care. May we help you with your yard? I ask. Thank you, says Miss Bunny. We clip the bushes, cut the grass, we pull the weeds, and trim the trees. Dad fixes the porch step. Tiger's dad fixes the shutter. I blow away old leaves. The house and the yard look great. Mrs. Bunny brings cookies and juice for all. I help carry them. We say goodbye. What should we do next, I ask. Little sister says we can get toys for kids who don't have any. Everyone says, good idea. Well, that's the end of the second book collection that I was able to pick up at the public library. 
and um, we will have to see about being off and getting some more. And you guys have a good night. Thank you.